Okay, here is the Roadrunner machine. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time cleaning it up, really not much at all. Uh, I put a new monitor in it, uh, well not a new monitor, I put a Geo7 in it. Inside it was the Atari Disco monitor that's right here and that's not working. So I'll troubleshoot that at some point in time. Anyway, it's been cleaned up. I've had glass put in, uh, thanks to my friend who donated that. And that's about it. Really, I fixed the ballast in the marquee for the light. And next thing I'm going to do is fix the joystick since that's rather crunchy. But I'm gonna see if I can bring it inside before I do any more work because it is working, it is operational and you can play it. It just needs that joystick fixed. So I'm gonna see if I can get it down the hill and in the house so I can do the rest of the work on it in there. Okay, so the Roadrunner game is in the basement and now I'm taking a look at the joystick and this is the Hall Effect joystick that's in it. And I am referencing the John's Arcade uh, video where he takes apart his iRobot and takes care of the joystick there. So anyway, just wanted to show you how dirty this thing is. My, uh, my joystick's rather crunchy, as I've shown you before. But this is all stuff that's fallen out of the joystick so far. Anyway, let's take a look at what's going on in here. Um, this is some of the crunchiness. I mean, it just feels sticky and stiff, and there's stuff coming out of it. So I'm going to take this apart and see if anything comes of this. I'm going to check the condition of the bushings and see if I need to order new ones. I'm hoping that I can just get away with cleaning it up. And we'll go from there, but I will find out. I'll keep you updated. I don't know how much about this yet. Let's see what happens along the way. So I'm guessing that part of my problem was just the fact that it was absolutely disgusting and dirty and all this crap keeps falling out of it. So I'm gonna go clean these parts and see if we can make any sense of it. So I don't know if you remember, but this joystick was just floppy. It doesn't self-center. And that's because the bushing, the top plunger on this is toast. Actually, when I was cleaning it, it came out in two different pieces. Now, to get it out, you actually have to remove these two bushings down here. And now there's a, a pin that goes through these holes and you knock that pin out with a metal punch and then both of these pieces come off like this and then you are able to take out the joystick from that housing. Now this is the original bushing that was in there. Uh, for reference, the new bushing that I got from Arcade Fix It is right here. Uh, notice that the old one looks completely different. The old one is toast. It's actually it came apart in two pieces and this is very well worn to the fact that to the point where it's not even the original shape anymore. So we're gonna replace this bushing and that should help it self-center. And then we'll put some uh, lubricant in there and we'll be good to go. So just for reference, here is the drawing that's uh, in the Roadrunner manual. And that's what it should look like. Here's that top plunger. So the joystick comes in, has the spring, then that top plunger sits on the top, and then the metal ball, or the, not the metal ball, the bushing ball there, and the actuator ball down at the end. So that's a pivot ball and actuator ball. Now you should replace those, but I'll tell you these bushings are not cheap. Uh, so I'm going to try to get away with what I've got to make it work and we'll go from there. So I've put some lithium grease down in there and I'm just going to take a Q-tip and uh, kind of spread it around down here because this stuff is messy and disgusting. So I'll just kind of put it in there like that. I shouldn't need too much. In fact, I might wipe that stuff off the side because that's not where it's needed. Okay. In 
figure it'll probably be easier to put in now than later. So that's in. So after we lubricated that housing, we're going to go ahead and put this top plunger in first. And that just sits over the spring like that. And then we'll actually go ahead and put this into our housing. Okay, so it sits there in our housing. And that spring will help keep everything tight. We'll then need to put in the pivot ball. So here's our pivot ball, and that's when we need to get the pin in so that it'll all stay in place. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see if I can get this pin even started. Oh, I'm gonna get The pin goes in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in, and we'll be good to go. So once you go ahead and put that metal pin in, you just use a hammer and some lubricant in there to bang that pin back in. Just be careful not to bend it. And once it's in, everything will sit in here. The nice thing is it now it returns back to center because that top plunger is working. So after that, the next thing to put in is this little actuator ball and the little pin that goes with it at the bottom of the joystick there. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that now. So right now I'm just focusing on those uh, X and Y direction slides and putting some of the grease in so that everything moves real nice. So I'm just kind of going ahead and putting it in and then smearing it around with a Q-tip because this stuff is messy, but it should do the job. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep putting some stuff on and making sure that it's in there but clean and you can tell that it, it does slide pretty nice now. Um, I just wish this stuff wasn't so messy. All right, I'm gonna continue doing that and you guys will get the idea of how it goes. But that said, the next one will sit in there uh, about like that. And that way they can slide together. All right, so we've got our X and Y direction slides on with plenty of lithium grease to make sure that everything slides nicely. The next thing to do is to put on this last housing. Uh, what I did beforehand um, is I made a mark. I just took a black marker and ran it down. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that. That way I know how it's all supposed to line up. But you can also tell because there's these two big openings here and that goes with where the magnets are on the X and Y direction slides. And then these there are these two other slots here that line up with those two spots there for that directional slide to slide on. So that just goes on like this. And go ahead and push that on. And then we'll go ahead and put our screws in and our P uh, Hall Effect PCB board and we'll be good to go and to test this thing out. So here is Roadrunner up and running. The joystick is put back together and it's working quite nicely it's not a hundred percent but it feels a lot better it actually returns to center it just feels a little notchy and i think uh, part of the problem is that top housing that i'm not going to be able to find a new one or at least not easily mm -hmm. but for all intents and purposes it works and the game is playable so i've been having some fun playing this and uh, it's made it you know rounds in the basement here without too much issue and uh, it's been fun so there we go let's see if we can do this well, there you go you get the idea make sure you get all the seeds in this so you can keep going once you get uh, enough in a row Every seed from there on out is a thousand points, and that's kind of how you want to do it. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, hopefully, this was useful, and I'll keep you updated.